All right, class, that average velocity problem we did in class was a doozy. I spent a little bit of time after class figuring it out, so I'm going to show you how it works. So the first thing that we want to write down is that the average velocity is equal to delta x delta t, OK? Now, we know that the total delta x is 2 times d, right? That we, we did that twice. And we can leave this over delta t for now. Now, we also know that the 60 miles per hour, right? That is equal to d over the first time, right? We have two different times. We have time one, and we're going to have time two. Also, we can represent delta t as the addition of those two times, right? The total change in time is going to be the first time plus the second time. Whoops, let me erase that. Plus the second time. Now, it's going to be helpful for us to rearrange our 60 miles per hour equals d over t1 in terms of time. So uh, we are going to write it out as d equals 60 t1, OK? And we are going to plug this back into our velocity average equation. So velocity average is equal to 2 times 60 t1, which is 120 time 1 over time 1 plus time 2. And we were also told that the actual average velocity of the whole thing was 30. Okay. So we're going to stop here for a moment, and we're going to reassess. We know that 60 miles per hour is d over ti. But we what we want to solve in the end is the second average velocity. And we know that's going to be d over t2. Now, recognize that I have d in both spots, and they are the same, right? Except the times are different. So if we can uh, solve for one of the times, then we can um, then we can start finding out what our average velocity is. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to solve in terms of t2 with my average velocity equation. So how I'm going to do that is I am going to get all my t1s on the same side and then solve for t2. So the first thing is is going to be 120 t1 equals 30 times t1 plus t2, OK? And since I want t2 by itself, I'm going to divide both sides by 30. OK? So now I am left with 120 t1 over 30 equals t1 plus t2. Should have moved that lower. OK. 120 over 30 gives me 4. And if I subtract my t1, right, 4 t1 minus t1 equals 3 t1 equals t2. Okay, I'm moving a little bit fast there. Take your time. Try to, try to follow those steps fully. Okay, so now I have 3t1 equals t2. And I have this piece right here. And I'm going to combine my stuff together. And I'm going to find my answer for that velocity. So let's substitute in. 3t1 into my t2 up here. So this means that distance is over 3t1. Now remember, I circled the 60 miles per hour is d over t1. Notice I have d over t1. So I'm going to substitute in 60 for that. So it's going to be 60 over 3 
And that leaves me with 20 miles per hour. And that's how you solve. That was a difficult problem, guys. Uh, no wonder it took us a little bit of time to figure it out. But I hope this video helps us see how it works. I also ran out of space here. It's not the cleanest. But um, let me know if you have any questions, and I'll help you. See you later, AP Physics.